All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a very simple but extremely effective way to squeeze a whole lot more juice out of this Canon R5C. Those of us that are lucky enough to have actually gotten our hands on a Canon R5C figure out usually within about the first hour or so that the battery issues of this camera are a very real and prevalent thing with this camera. The software system that they put, the cinema system in this Canon R5C does not play nice with the LPE6 batteries that come with the Canon R5. And I really believe this is a software issue more than a hardware issue that could be fixed by Canon, but as of yet, they haven't fixed it. I actually did a whole video about what I thought they could do to fix it. I'll put a link up here. But as it stands right now, we have to deal with the software that exists in the Canon R5C and ways to deal with this terrible, terrible battery life. I was on a shoot recently and found something that really blew me away. I started doing it and I got triple the battery life per battery in video mode on this camera, something I wanted to share with you. Oh, and by the way, if you do find this helpful, please subscribe. It really, really helps me out a lot. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. Unbelievably helpful in helping me keeping going and producing more content like this. All right, let's go ahead and take a look now at the Canon R5C and show you the super simple, and it's kind of a stupid hack, but it does work. Okay, so now if you look here, and I'm gonna record this here on my Atomos just so you can see what I see on my screen, but I have the battery grip in my R5C, but for the sake of this, I'm using one battery because I think a lot of you would be expecting to have one battery in there. Now, this is a pretty typical thing. This is a fully charged battery. It's only been there for a couple minutes while I was getting this thing started. And you can see that it's got 42 minutes left on this battery to operate. And the problem with all this is because the way the Canon R5C operates, it does not have a standby low res mode like the Canon R5, which has to go a long time. So this camera is always basically going full bore even when you're not recording. And that's a big part for the terrible, terrible battery life. The other part that's really terrible about this battery life is because Canon did not make any considerations for this battery or this body when they implemented a cinema system into the Canon R5C. What that means is the cinema system is expecting a certain amount of voltage from a battery, and when these little tiny batteries get past a certain point, it just shuts off. Now, most of you will know what this is like because lo and behold, when you run out of battery in video mode on this camera, when you switch over to photo mode, you'll still find you have about half a battery left. So what that means is those of us that are Canon R5C users have this incredible body with a small battery that Canon only lets us use 50% of. And I wanted to see if there was a way around it. And I found a bit of a hack and it really, really saved me on a shoot I was on last week I think you're gonna like this. Now, if you look up here, you will see I have 41 minutes left on this battery in this card. But check this out. If you hit media on the back of your camera, like you're reviewing a clip, look up here at the battery indicator. Boom. It just jumped up to 108 minutes, right? More than double, almost triple of what you had back in your camera mode. If I hit this media button real quick, I immediately bounce back, and now the camera's gonna calculate, and you can see right here, 43 minutes. I kick back to media, I'm right there, and all of a sudden now I've got 108 minutes again. Almost triple the battery power in video mode that I can get. And the best part about this, I don't have to cut my camera off. When you cut the Canon R5 off, you have to wait for it to boot back up if you wanna try and save battery. This is just like having a quick switch on the back of your camera. You can immediately hit it once, you're saving energy on the back of your camera. This is super awesome. Now, I did do a shoot and I absolutely saw a gigantic improvement in my battery life when I did this. But not being content with that, I decided to come back here and do a test just to see what the apples to apples comparison was when I did that. Now, in order to get this test the best chance of success, I got a brand new Canon R5C battery that I put in my camera. I cut it on, I didn't record, I just wanted to see how long the camera battery consumption would happen when it was just sitting there ready to go, not actually recording. And as you can see, when I left it on, I got about an hour and 10 minutes off a brand new battery on that camera. And honestly, I was pretty impressed with that hour and 10 minutes, to be honest with you, but I think it's because it was a brand new battery. It had never actually even been used before. That was the first time getting ready to go. I really got a lot of extra kick. 
But that being said, I think that shows the upper limit of what you can get with one battery in the Canon R5 with no recording or doing anything like that. Now, when I did this next one and I did the same thing with the trick, where I cut on the camera and I switched over to the media menu, you can see that the camera, it ran, it ran, and ran. And just like on here where it said I got almost triple the time, you can see I got over three hours of time on that battery before the battery conked out. So it literally gets you almost three times as much space, not quite, it's more like 2.8%, I think, but almost three times as much battery capacity on a single battery if you switch it over using the media button on the back of your camera. And the best part about it is it, you don't have to wait for the camera to boot back up. It's literally instant. You can see right here, I'm hitting it. Boom, boom, boom. It's a great way to save a ton of energy without having to worry about missing your shots as you get ready to go. Anyway, guys, this is something that really blew me away on a shoot I was on. It absolutely made an enormous difference in how I was able to run my batteries throughout the day. And I hope this is something, if you're Canon R5 users out there, that makes a big difference for you and you find really helpful and helps you go and shoot a little bit better. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Leave me any comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. Yeah, talk to you soon.